Right guys, welcome back to Asafeed Golf Club. Just making the long walk back to the black tee here on the first. Decent front nine. Disappointing end to the front nine, or truth be told. But four bogeys, two birdies, and the rest pars. I will take that. Uh, a bit more up and down than it was yesterday. But this is a different test. So thank you for tuning back in. Gonna make our way through the front nine now, which is our back nine see if I can continue this run of form, shoot a decent score. And for anyone who posted a comment on the first video guessing what my total score through 18 holes would be, thank you very much. Let's see if you were right. Right, having an absolute mare here on the first. I think there's a magnet on the left hand side of this hole. But, oh, let's get one back in the fairway, come on. This is not going to plan, Martin. What are your sandwiches, mate? Maybe it'll cheer you up. Hope so, this is gonna be my fourth shot now out of the bunker. What is going on? I don't really know what to say at this point. It's my fifth, got to get up and down for a double. Oh dear. It was all going so well. Spin. Get back down. Damn it. This is a whole beauty again. Car crash. Seven. Ow. <laughs> oh. Triple. Straight to plus five. First hole on this tour, I've dropped more than one shot. Just shows how mentally fragile I am. One bad one, then an absolute train wreck of a hole ensues. Now, fighting hard to even shoot my handicap. Um, so three more shots to play with. Gonna need some more birdies, I think. Nearly shanked that. Totally getting away with it though. Mm. That's gone miles through that patch. They hit the tree and came back. Back on the fairway now. Yeah. Ha! Right, do you know what you don't want um, straight after you just dropped six shots to go to plus six in the last four holes? A 230 yard par three into the wind. Yeah, championship golf, black tees. Can be, ouch. Quite literally, this is all going a little sideways now. That was an awful shot. Right, somehow forgot to film that last shot. 
I'll be honest with you, I was in the middle of this fairway on a par three and I had to play like a 60 yard pitch shot back over. I've actually put it quite close. So maybe even to be able to snatch a part here. Right, in the midst of a head off, I've managed to forget to film that one. Oh dear. Which is ironic considering we were talking about that about two minutes ago. Yep. <laughs> Oops. But, par putt, coming up. Oh, right. come on. Remind Screw the head back were. on. Remind us where you were. Yeah, I, I told the audience yeah. I was 60, 70 yards down there somewhere. A little bit embarrassing. It was a nice shot. It was a nice shot. <laughs> what, the first or second one? <laughs> well, you got your, peer. your second shot was good. Starting you need to, to look, hurt. that was so short. Starting to hurt. Ooh, seven over through the last five. Great. <laughs> Little bit of, I'm angry in that one. Mm. Thanks, golf. Just held on. Actually, quite a nice birdie putt coming up. I was fearing a little runoff, not getting up and down another drop shot kind of situation, but uh, fingers crossed I can make par from there. Right, stemmed the flow a little bit there with a par. Thank goodness. Starting to get a little bit upset. Sticking with the it's not a par three, so it must be a driver off the blacks kind of thinking here. No, oh, yeah, that was a good shot yeah, if it's up. So one of the things you'll notice about the front nine here, which is our back nine here at Asu Feed, is the difference in the look. If you look around behind me, we're much more out in the desert wasteland kind of area. And unfortunately one of the things you probably won't be able to see, you might just make them out, in the distance over here are the Atlas Mountains. And essentially it's just too hot at this time of year to see them, so the heat haze is basically masking them from not from human sight, because I can just about make them out, but I'm guessing you can't see them on the camera. But the reason why we're kind of out in the scrubland, desert land, is we're approaching kind of the end of civilization here in Morocco, where on the other side of those mountains, all you've got is the Sahara Desert. So, yeah, different feel altogether. Right, reasonably short par four down the hill, as I said earlier in the video. A little bit more elevation change on this golf course compared to the two courses we played yesterday, which I absolutely love. Um, I don't think I need driver here, but by and large I've been hitting it pretty good, so why change? Um, 312 meters, so 340 yards. I should be able to get this reasonably close with a good hit. Certainly pitching with a wedge, that sort of thing. close to the green with a pull. Should be okay, probably in the scrubby bit, but not ideal. <sighs> well, it does have thin bullet stamped on it. I said when you wanted the thin bullet, did you really want it? You need a bear and a, and a 
too painful. Not many people survive two car crashes in one day. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This is for a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. It's for a six. I hate this game, Martin. No, you don't. <laughs> I loved it for a day and a half. Dear. Oh dear. Oh. The less said about that, the better. Move on to the next one. <laughs> oh, snowman. Right, plus 11 in a heartbeat. Oh, golf. Should be perfect, I think. I think I've cleared the wasteland. I didn't see it bounce, I didn't see any dirt. Yeah, exactly. So as you can see here on the seventh, I've got 270 meters from the back where I was to run out of fairway. So that's 300 yards-ish. And I've kind of drawn it lovely over this corner of the wasteland. So I've either run through here or pitch the fairway at about 265, 270, which I reckon would be my max carry if I flush it, and that was ripped to be fair. Um, and it's quite warm out, so fingers crossed it made the carry. Fingers crossed I can bounce back, or at least just like not make this back nine any more depressing than it already is. Plus 11, plus 11. Thanks. <laughs> just went to repair my divot in here. Just, pat, just patting that down. Another good drive. Um, drive is definitely behaving itself a lot this week. Um, beast of a par five. Just driven up to the corner here and the green is kind of way over there. I'm not sure how much trouble is up there. So I think a sensible layup is in order. Just try and hit another good wedge. They've been going okay this week. Certainly a hell of a lot better than usual. So I think just bang a six iron down there. Leave about 100 yards in, I reckon. Kind of guessing, really. All right, a bit of wind's just come out of nowhere, so we've changed up to a four iron. Just trying to thump one with a bit of draw. Leave me something manageable, hopefully. Should be perfect. Again, guessing. Or just a massive pull hook into the bunker or over the bunker. <laughs> That's 40 yards left of the pin with a wedge. And that was struck quite well. <laughs> Time for a bear in a pool. So yeah, that went well. That went really well. Jeez Louise. Down. Oh. Brand new 60 has now officially got a battle scar off the waist area. It's not too bad, not too noticeable, but it was worth it. High toe to the rescue. Thank you. Right, final hole, Asu feed. It's been a bit of sweet experience for me. The course is fantastic. Uh, the seven handicapper was here for a few holes. 
and then the hashtag seven handicapper joined in on the back nine. Got one, six, five, par three to finish. Um, kind of stuck between an eight and a seven, but I'm just gonna pound an eight and see what happens. It's downhill slightly. Come on, one last good shot. <clears throat> bit fat and it's annoying because it's straight at it. Yeah. It's half a yard short and it's literally the slightest of fat shots. But having said that, kind of chipping up the green if not putting so hopefully that'll be a par to finish on plus 11. Which considering two of those absolute train wreck holes, it's not that bad. <laughs> Thanks lads, come Me again. Me too. Oh, cheers mate. Mate, well done. Thanks. Great game. Well, yeah. Well. Some of it. <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> Right, all done at Asufid Golf Club. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts on the golf course in a second. Just checked into my hotel for the evening. It's Be Live Collection, all inclusive here in Marrakesh. And as you can hear, sounds like a bit of a party hotel. Um, gonna get changed and might just have to go and check out what the hell is going on down at this swimming pool. Anyway, looking for room 6101, here we go. <laughs> Shouldn't point the camera out there too long. There are people sunbathing by the pool after all, but check this room out. Lovely bathroom. Yes, please. Massive shower, I'll be getting in you in a minute, it was very hot today. Uh, bath with a blind. I am sharing this room with one of the sales guys, so I'm hoping he doesn't use that while I'm in the room. But yeah, luxurious, comfortable, stylish, party atmosphere right outside. Uh, and all inclusive, so. But yeah. Asu feed um, and the difference between resort, holiday golf and championship golf. Um, as you guys saw from the video from the front nine, my hot streak continued by and large from yesterday's golf where I went, how many holes did we play yesterday? 26 and I had 23 pars. And then I was level through seven today, a couple of birdies, a couple of bogeys, all going well, arguably hitting it better than I did yesterday. And then, this is where championship golf can come back and bite you. A um, couple of understandable bogeys, I think. In the back nine, I started playing some pretty poor shots, especially in comparison to yesterday. But here's the difference. I reckon yesterday, I would have got away with a lot more of those shots than I did today. Um, kind of scabby drives. Yesterday would have found open patches of grass in between sparse palm trees, bit of wasteland at, wor at worst. As long as you avoid those water hazards, you're fine. Whereas today, off those black tees measuring at 7,200 yards, I hit a bad drive. All of a sudden, I'm looking at long irons out of the rubbish, um, lost golf balls, there was a lot more potential for that today as well. And you just, as soon as you have a bad hole, I had that triple on the first hole, which is our 10th. And from there, on a course like that, at my ability, I'm then just getting a bit more panicky, getting a bit more paranoid, getting a bit more worried. Whereas yesterday, I reckon I could have had a seven on a hole and I wouldn't really have cared because I know that I had the ability to then go and rattle off a few pars, maybe get a couple of birdies. Whereas today, triple bogey, that was my fifth shot dropped in three holes and all of a sudden I'm getting a bit worried because <laughs> I think, you know, another loose shot or two and then next thing you know, the drop shots just keep racking up, racking up. So I hope that video kind of illustrates the difference in the tests of golf you can find out here in Morocco. I said yesterday, you've got that holiday golf option if you want to come out, relax, have fun, not stress too much about it. There are courses out here for lots of different handicapped golfers. And 
judging by what I saw at Asu Feed today, there are courses as well where if you guys go off the backs on these championship courses and you're low handicappers looking for a real challenge, that's certainly here in abundance too. I believe the course we're playing tomorrow is very much the same ilk as Asu Feed. So we'll see how we get on. I'll be joined by the sales guys tomorrow. And at the moment, I'm gonna do some editing here at BeLive, um, get a couple of videos done and then try and go and join in with that party atmosphere and take advantage of the all-inclusive, so... Mm, chance it might be a bit groggy tomorrow? I, d I don't know.